Hello, welcome back to IT Landy Nugget Courses. Today we will be talking about, you know, containers, what they are, how we can consume them, and especially around Windows containers, Hyper-V containers, and Docker. And the drive behind this topic will be around, you know, availability, hyperscale, agility, and why we use containers. What are the challenges we are facing at the moment? You know, like give an example, transforming an, an existing application or, 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 or make it like a cloud ready. It might be hard depending on the app itself. Building a hybrid approach, again, it might sound uh, challenging. However, containers can't make it easier. So how the containers can make our life easier or the transformation easier? Now, Let's we dive into this in more high level. So we can basically create like, you know, uh, some of the uh, bullet point or pillars about that. Like we take into the consideration two topics like consistency and efficiency. So I'm going to just like a drive and, uh, you know, uh, make uh, the consistency and the efficiency around uh, the containers more easier by defining the, like the, the, the pillars. So within the consistency, it's uh, fast iteration on any cloud can be run, immutable, reproducible, and rapid deployment. These are the benefit of having a container across public or even could be private cloud. Yeah, efficiency, surface separation, high availability, test our skill, scalability, and reduce the cost. So. These are just like a high level you need to remember you know the drive behind utilization of the containers now so how can i explain to you what is a container let's have a look at the traditional approach when we have like a normal uh, vm yeah and we can utilize you know like for example here you can see like we've got hardware on the hardware you have the os on the OS, you have uh, uh, the application installed and the traditional virtual machine came after that. What we did, we use, um, rather than the previous example where we have one server with OS and application, we start having like, you know, uh, one hardware, multiple VMs on it, you know, like a Hyper-V or VMware, and each VM, we host like an application on it. Then we uh, we moved from that one, we improved a little bit and introduced something called a container. Containers will be something like that, yeah? We go one hardware, one, for example, VM. On the VM, you can have, you know, your OS and basically kernel. And underneath that one, you can have something like that, yeah? Multiple containers. So multiple on one VM and sharing the kernel. And you got the same hardware. And if we basically try to explain that in more like a realistic uh, uh, sort of like a module or approach, something like that will be Windows Server Container to give us maximum uh, speed and density. And then you go the Hyper-V Container, which give us the isolation plus performance. So let's just recap this last part. So at least you understand the difference. This screen explain to us the traditional approach, which is a VM approach, and we have the container approach. However, with the container approach, uh, we said earlier we can have one OS with multiple container. However, we have Windows Server container and we have Hyper-V container. What is the difference between these two? Look at the uh, pictures. The only difference, if you are after uh, total isolation, separation from kernel perspective and container, then the Hyper-V will be the right for us because what we like it the 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 the, the module is a bit similar to like the traditional uh, virtual machine approach basically. So do remember these are the ones. Later on we will cover the Docker in more details. This is just like in in, in a high level the difference between the containers. That's all what I have for you for session one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.